both teams trying to feel each other out. A no look pass for Ulis down low. Five on the shot clock now for the Bulls. Mulder has to flick it up, and it's good. At the buzzer, 3 nothing Bulls. Lost in that wide open look. Behind the back pass from Ulis, nearly a turnover. Mulder will flick it up from three and hit. Now the drive with a 10 point lead over the Bulls. Four minutes to go in the first quarter. Ulis sends it back to Mulder. Top of the key, three. It rattles home. Mulder off the dribble, rims out, but an offensive rebound to Fair. Back out to Mulder. He's got it. For four all time in assists and three pointers made. Speedy Smith throws it away. Bethea Jr. back with it. Down low. Horford misses the bunny and the tip back there. Echoes the same strategy this year. Right, and you're not just jacking up threes. It's more of changing your philosophy from the mid-range and say, hey. Rosters don't elect to do that. Mulder in the corner. He's been silent since the first quarter, but delivers on another triple. The point of emphasis at halftime for their coaching staff was on the defensive side, the drive. Turnover there as Brown throws it away. Now Mulder, 1-2, into the lane and up and in. Well, they're a rare veteran on those yeah. usually very young Kentucky squads. How about another three? He drills it from the corner. Michael Mulder. An interesting prospect for the Bulls. Eight on the shot clock. Lofton spinning, fading, and hitting from the baseline. When it rains, it pours, and that's exactly what's happened to the Bulls as the drive had caught fire from the perimeter. Gates wanted too much there, but Mulder has the putback.